what is going on guys, it's Boyce to see here, bringing you guys another Photoshop tutorial, or bringing you guys these cool texture brush stocks, uh, tutorial I guess you can say, and it's really influenced by 30k pack, if you guys, I mean, you guys killed it on the previous video where I released my 30k pack, uh, this really cool organic, you know, random pen tooled shapes to make my own textures, my own brush, like, you know, stocks, highlight effects, pixels, all that cool stuff, use all organic, completely done by just randomly photoshopping with filters, and pen tooling so let me show you guys how I did that and the craziest thing about it is like you guys really like appreciated how crazy like the brush stocks were so um, I want to show you guys how I actually did those you guys were really, like I don't know you guys were like 10 out of 10 brush stocks you know Twitter was like actually blowing up and saying like these really cool things like I bring in something different and I really really try to and I feel like I actually accomplished my goal so thank you guys so much for the people who appreciated it if you guys haven't yet to download it either, 30k pack will be in the description below for you guys to download. So you can go ahead and download that right away if you guys have yet to get it, if you're crazy out of the loop. But anyway, thank you guys so much. We have about 3,000 uh, downloads in the first week. So if you guys want to know those statistics, those are really crazy. And thank you guys so much. So anyway, these kind of uh, cool brush stocks is what I want to uh, teach you how to do. Uh, previously, my uh, my previous you know brush stock tutorial, I really didn't really focus on actually giving you guys something different. I just really gave you guys this... Uh, you know, using Ripple only and just like randomly just doing random stuff with the pen tool. As well as that plays onto this tutorial, I actually show you guys something really cool with you know, using Filter Wind, where you can get this really cool like staggered effects. So I use it in uh, plenty of my other uh, you know my designs now. I've been using this cool like you know scheme of just random abstract stocks to create my own designs. It's really crazy and cool, creative as well. So if you guys want to get into it, it's really uh, just works out. So this is a little razor advertisement I have here. So you can see this stock was used for like you know this. I think this is the same exact stock as well used in this backing right here. It just gives it some really cool highlights. So I just want to show you guys it can be used for a lot of things. It's like a black and white theme right here. Also I have a thumbnail pack out actually. Selfie.com to so HQ if you want to purchase it. I'll put it in the description down below, or I just you can click on the screen right now or something, and you can click and you can purchase it for six dollars. Updates regularly, like my everything pack or my brush pack, where if you you download this or you purchase it and you download it, you can check your email every so often. I'll probably update it for uh, different notes, you know, so you can actually get more out of it. So this is currently five. I, it can go on to like a hundred if it really wants to. So of course it will update regularly for you guys. Uh, of course my brush pack users and everything pack users will understand what that else all about. So that's that. I'll show you guys this in a second because I'm. It's also applied to the tutorial. So also the th everything pack. If you guys want to purchase it, and it's actually thirty dollars, and you can get everything on my Selfie store for thirty dollars plus future items for free. So I want to let you guys know that if you guys want to support me or to support your designs overall, these really cool quality pre-made and stuff like that, it can be done with that. So. Anyway, this cool like textures and all this crazy stuff was done completely by pen tool and filters. So you can see this, this design was completely done by it. It's just, it, I don't know, I feel like it's really crazy and I can't wait to show you guys how I did it. So something like this, really fun and cool. Uh, this is actually, like I said, the thumbnail pack. So that's this, you know, really crazy, just random, just abstract sh like stuff that creates this and it's really cool and I can't wait to uh, you know show you guys. Anyways, so that's the thumbnail pack and that's cool designs used with the these cool brush stocks as well. So anyway, let's get going. All right, time to actually start the tutorial. I always talk in the beginning because I feel like it's necessary. Anyway, let's get right into it. I said anyway like five times, I'm done. All right, so let's make a new layer. Control Shift N, or this little box right here you can do. And we're just gonna name this layer one just because. And uh, so anyway, like I'm gonna do this how I usually do it and I'm gonna randomly do this random pen tool shape and it can be completely, you know, just random and fun. Like, I, it's, it's the funnest thing in the world, I swear. I was, like, commenting on Twitter when I was doing my 30K pack. I was like, this is literally like designing a logo without mistake. You know, you can really do anything you want. And it's pretty fun. So we're just going to do something like this, like that. <clears throat> do something like this. We can even keep it a little loop there. And something that does that. And something that does this. All right, boom. So I have this weird fork to look in shape here. So once you have this here... You can right click fill path, uh, drop down, use color, and you can use a black or whatever your foreground color is. Just make sure you can actually pop out and see it. So black and white is fine. Right click, delete the path, and then you're good to start. So I have this random shape. You can have something completely different. Please do. It can do something crazy for you and also come up with something, you know, different that uh, like applies to the tutorial, but it comes out really cool. Anyway, so we're just going to apply some filters here. So I usually start off with distort ripple. So I'm going to use medium, that's fine, and it just kind of like jags up the shapes a little bit, gives it that little cool uh, brush stock look. We're going to go to filter, distort, we're going to add another ripple just again, and use small this time, kind of like really distorts it a lot more, you can see, you can put the amount up if you want to. 
Um, I like I said, the filter ripple is like one of the most main ones, and then after that, I'll show you guys what I do. So anyway, press OK. So now I have this cool little texture looking, you know, outside look. We're gonna mess with the inside in a second, but I want to show you guys something really cool as well. If you guys don't use uh, uh, distort wave in the uh, filter section, you can do these really cool effects as well and make up a new effect or a new shape that you had previously from the pen tool. So if you just mess around the wavelength, the amplitude, and the scale, you can get some really cool shapes. Um, you can have it like separate a little bit if you want to by messing out the wavelength and the bottom one as well. Uh, that looks pretty cool. It looks just random and fun. And let's just say we'll mess around. We'll mess around with that at all. And the amplitude can really separate the shapes if you really want some really crazy sh like you know particles and stuff like that. This is how I did that. The particles. That's how I did that. I put the amplitude up, made some more cool particles, and uh, we're just gonna keep that here. I want to have like more of a connected. Um, or more of a solid shape here, and don't mess with the <clears throat> sorry, don't mess with the number of generators. It doesn't really work out for you. If I put this up, you can see it just randomly just, just I don't know, just ruins it. So keep it around five, and you press OK, and now we have a cooler shape that we had previously um, before. So I'm just gonna erase this a little bit. I don't want these little random things here. I just want a cool solid shape. All right. So the crazy thing about this to get this little cool texture feel was this wind feature, unstylized wind. So you have uh, wind, you have blast, you have stagger, and direction from left and right, which the effect applies to. If I change it to left to right, you can see it applies to left, and then the right side is more clean. You can see that here. <clears throat> so blast is more of a, uh, I guess you can say, a more of a, a deeper, bold, like scratchy effect, while wind is more like, you know, not so bold, and it's just more like, you know, just scratchy, but not as bold as the uh, the blast. But the stagger is what really, I feel like it's really, really cool. So you can try out blast and wind. We'll try blast for a second. So you can see blast gives us little scratches in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the layer. Uh, so I'm gonna control T, right click, flip horizontal, press OK or enter, and then apply the effect one more time. So I don't have to go to filter, stylize, wind. I can just press control F to apply the same filters before. And now we have the effect going from both directions. Pretty cool. So with this now, I'm gonna also apply another distort ripple. I feel like it just completes it. I don't know, I, I do this a lot. You can find your own, like, you know, it's kind of like these little patterns you do that can create, like, create something different, but as well as creating the same, you know, the same idea. You can see the same idea was like made if you made your own brush stock. So that's what I do. I, I apply a filter uh, ripple a lot. So that's just this. That's just me. But you'll see what you guys can do. Of course, by the way, if you guys have any effects for filters, like uh, plugins for uh, Photoshop, please link them in the description or tell people down below. I would love to explore them. I hope other people would love to explore them as well because you can get some really other cool, you know, really cool shapes. So I'm just going to throw that out there if you have any cool filters and stuff. Like, hey, I have this one. You don't use it yet. So I'm going to tell you about it. So that'd be pretty cool if you guys did that. Anyway, let's go back to tutorial. We're going to go to use wind and we're going to try the stagger one. It's my favorite one. And I think it just does the most. Of course, to the effect itself, you can see the image completely gets distorted, but it looks really good. So we're going to press OK and we're going to apply this. All right, progress. We're almost done. And boom, 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 boom. All right, cool. So you can see already, it looks pretty insane. It's just fun and it's just really cool texture here. And of course, you can erase this over here if you really wanted to. Or if you, if you can also do it, just pen tool this out. So I'm just going to use my pen tool and just like select around it, right? And what we can do is you can just close it off, right click, make selection. And once you do this, you can press M on your keyboard or just select this little rectangle marquee tool, right click, layer via cut. And what this will do is remove it from the layer itself. And it can be its own stock as well. Because every time you do the stagger effect, it will completely distort it and actually make the effect like I guess like push itself away and like kind of like outside of how you saw it before. It will do that every single time. So you can delete it or you can keep it as a stock. I actually have this one right here and I also have one of those cool things I just did before where I just removed this as one of these stocks because it looks pretty cool as this one right here. So it's pretty cool. I did use that so you can use it as well. Of course, if you get a cooler shape than mine. Um, but here, that's that. So we're gonna see if we, we what happens if you flip this and control F it. What, what will happen? Let's see, come on, do something cool. Do something cool. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm enjoying that. All right. I'm definitely down for that. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. So, like, of course, if you don't want to, you can minimize the, the wind effect and you can try all the other uh, wind functions and stuff. But I like stagger and blast a lot more because it does the most to it. And, of course, I'm going to go back to ripple because I like ripple. And we're going to medium. We'll just, come, like, we'll just you know, we'll mess around with just a little bit. Actually, we'll, we'll keep it actually this little cool staggered effect. 
So with this, you can either be done, and then of course how you save them as your own brush stock is you would just hide the layer so there's nothing below it, like no background image. You go to edit, define brush preset, and you would name it whatever you want to name it. You press OK, and it will get saved. And to either make your own brush preset, you can just click in your brush, right click, uh, anywhere on the canvas, go to this little cog wheel, and then you can do preset manager, and delete everything that's in here. Uh, you just shift click and delete, select and shift click and select the last one. Keep make make sure you uh, keep a uh, you know a default soft and hard brush, uh, and then you can just delete it. And then when you start saving your own, you can go back to here and then press save set, and then you're good to go. So that's how you like make your own little brush stock pack and stuff like that. But anyway, this little cool effect, I really hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Of course, also you can duplicate the layer by just holding Alt and then just making more of a texture feel. So maybe something like that and maybe flipping it different ways and maybe having it connect in some odd way I really don't know but you make some cool textures of course if you really want to as well but anyways please leave a like in the uh, video comment down anything you guys want to see to be, uh, see me do ever again I don't know like if you want to see me like update one of the tutorials you've seen before or oh I have a really cool tutorial coming up don't worry I got I got one idea I got an idea no worries but anyways if you guys want any idea for me to do a end, uh, logo or not logo what am I talking about for me to do a tutorial please leave it down uh, in the comment section below I really don't talk about the comments a lot so that's what I'm studying a lot that's what I freaking hate it all right guys so anyways thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like comment down anything you want to see on this channel ever I really don't know 30k pack if you guys have yet to download it please do so as well I'll be in the description below for you guys to download download and enjoy it's really worth it I think it's really really one of my best things I ever worked on it's just really fun and different it's kind of like open this little new book for me I really don't know so of course thumbnail pack as well six dollars it gets updated a few months or a few times every month so please do so if you guys need some thumbnails and cool, like, cool stuff I'm even using them on my own because I think it looks really good and of course follow me on twitter at the switch check out selfie.com for any pre-made stocks all that cool stuff templates for you guys to use thank you guys so much for watching so switch you out peace